to other stories, students from public tertiary institutions in some state have converged and blocked major highways to protest the prolonged strike and backed upon by members of the academic staff union of universities. As to in Ondo State, the protesting students barricaded the busy Akure Elisha Owo Road as early as 8 a.m., hindering vehicular movement while travelers and residents were stranded for several hours. The protest is coming days after the students of Adekune Adjasi University's AAUA blocked the Akumbai Kare Highway to register their grievances over the confirmed closure of public universities in the country. Well, President of the National Association of Nigerian Students, uh, Sunday Ashefo, had on May 10 declared a nationwide protest after ASU extended the strike by three months. Ashefo made this known following the ASU's announcement that it has extended its strike for 12 more weeks. Shegun Ashefo, President of the National Association of Nigerian Students, joins me now uh, to discuss this for that. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, what progress has been made so far to ensure that lecturers go back to the classroom? And of course, um, students um, resume uh, their coursework. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to uh, correct my name. I'm not uh, Chegun. I'm uh, Sunday Aridayo Ashefa, the president of National Association of Nigerian Students. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have been on the issue of ASU strike since uh, February 14th this year. It uh, was so just like uh, a shark play, thinking that with the three weeks strike, uh, everything will be resolved between the federal government and ASU. But unfortunately, up to this moment, all our campuses are under lock and key. In short, all the federal university and state university now that I speak to you today, everything has been paralyzed. The NASU is on strike, ASU is on strike, SAMU is on strike, NAT is on strike. So nothing is working in our university. And this called a very serious attention of the federal government to the issue of this ASU strike. As I speak to you today, ASU strike is older than you, is older than me. ASU strike is 40 years and, up, and above. And uh, it seems uh, that has now become a generational issue. And nobody is uh, finding a solution to it. And I think the responsibility of every government, every responsible government, is to provide the quality and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and quantity of education for all these people. Unfortunately, uh, Nigerian, as the case may be, is not. And uh, the, the life of Nigerian students is not even matter to our leaders in the corridor of power. As what I said, people are not talking about our future. They are not talking about our education. What they are talking about, they are talking about their own parochial interest, politics, party activities is what they are thinking about. Why our lecturers said without having a concrete agreement with them, they are not going back to class. And you know, in this case, when two elephants fight, the class survive. So Nigerian student has been at the receiving end. Now, Mr. Now we Shepo, have spent uh, sorry to interrupt you there. Uh, four months um, at I, I believe um, Nans at um, some point um, in the past had uh, conversations with the federal government. Now, how would you rate the, the, the response? And uh, in terms of feedback now, do you think um, this um, lingering issue between ASU and the federal government um, will come to an end very time soon uh, so that um, students can return um, to the IA institutions to continue learning? Yeah, is a is a is a prayer as the leader of the student and the Nigerian students at large is a prayer that uh, this issue of strike is being resolved so we can return back to our various campus. But uh, to us, you know, every day we keep hearing different news, but uh, we have not been able to get the concrete evidence. Yes, last week. The chief of staff to the president met with the lecturers 
and some other organizations to see how to resolve this matter. But as I speak to you, I think uh, 24 hours later, the ASU also you know, went to their official Twitter page by saying there was no any concrete agreement or any agreement reached by them within the, the union and the chief of staff to the president. And as such, he said, no, the students should not be expecting that the, the strike will be called off soon. So, and our demand has been that the government should find a solution to this matter and let us you call off the strike so that we can return back to class. The um, Sunday, I share for the President's National Association of Nigerian Students. Many thanks for your contribution and thank you for coming on News Now.